In the morning hours of June 6, 1944, Canadian soldiers landed at Juneau Beach. Operation Overlord had begun. By day's end, Canadians had captured the beach and made it further inland than any of our allies. But the victory came at great cost. 340 Canadian soldiers made the ultimate sacrifice for freedom that day. Among those who died were Lance Corporal Irwin Archibald Little of Mount Forest, who was killed by machine gun fire on the beach when his tank was hit, and Trooper Clarence Edward Hometh of Mitchell, who was killed as B Squadron of the 1st Hussars liberated Courcelles sur Mer. Both are buried at the Beni sur Mer Canadian War Cemetery. Also on the beach that morning was William Mac Dixon. Sergeant Dixon was the driver of a duplex drive Sherman tank nicknamed the Bold. On D-Day, the Bold would sink off the shore of Juneau Beach, but Mac would nonetheless make it safely to shore. Nearly 30 years later, the Bold would be recovered from the waters and now proudly stands as a memorial at Courcelles sur Mer. Like so many of his generation, Mac Dixon's service did not end with war's end. He would later serve on municipal council both in Gray County and on Mitchell Town Council. As we mark this important milestone, the image in my mind's eye is that of Art Boone. To have known Art Boone was to know history. And Art was no casual observer of history. He wasn't just there at turning points in our history. He helped to change the course of history. Art landed at the beaches of Normandy on D-Day and he fought through the bloody battle of the Scheldt estuary. When Art passed away last year, his son Rick shared the following story in his eulogy. My father's determination and dedication was unmarked by anyone I have ever met in my life. After receiving shrapnel that tore off his right thumb, he went to a farmhouse where a doctor sewed it back on with only a shot of scotch for anesthetic, casted him and was about to send him to a clearing station to recover. That wasn't in Dad's plan. So he held back the order papers inside his jacket and told the driver that he was clear to go back to the tank where he could resume his duties. So he went back and remained in the fight. Today, on the 80th anniversary of D-Day, we remember those who were in the fight. We honor those who landed at Juneau Beach, those who paid for freedom with their lives, and those who changed the course of history. Today, and always, we will remember them.